all of a sudden rear delt raises don't work your rear delt. Dumbbell bent over, lateral, uh, reverse pec deck. Now all of a sudden it doesn't work according to the experts. Now I've been doing these for many, many years. I've had hundreds and hundreds of clients that have done these. There have been thousands of bodybuilders and people who just lift weights in general that have done these and that have seen tremendous progress in their rear delts. Sometimes I think we outsmart ourselves. I'm all about origins and insertions and muscle fiber pass and all that stuff. I get all that. I'm doing this today because I'm just, I guess, I, you know guys I'm real calm, but I guess I'm a little annoyed that people think all of a sudden these don't work your rear delts. So I'm gonna do these today as an exercise index video. Watch how complicated this is. It's a rear delt race. A couple ways you can do these. Some people do them like this. Okay, that's fine with a neutral hand grip position, but you'll get a little side delt too. So if you want some side delt in addition to rear delt, do those. They work fantastic. If you want to bias it a little bit more toward your rear delt, simply use a pronated grip. So turn your hands in right here. Okay. Here's a couple, couple things you got to keep in mind. If you come up past here, you are going to get a lot of trap and rhomboid. Now you may want that, you may not. If you want that, then concentrate on pulling up all the way. Just because your trap and your rhomboids are working doesn't mean your rear delts are not working. They're all working together. Now, if you want to just get more rear delt, just keep it up to parallel right here. Now, what I want you to think about is I want you to think about hinging with your shoulder. So this, okay? Not so much a row, but hinge. A really good trick to, to use on these to make the exercise really effective is partials. Now, I know you've probably seen me do those. So what you can do is you can go to failure with a full range of motion. So when you can't get a full range of motion, just cut the range of motion in half and continue to work. Your rear delts will be on fire at that point, And there will be no question in your mind if these train your rear delts. I can guarantee you, you'll say to yourself, how could someone say these don't work your rear delts? So let's say you're at 11, 12, 13, now it's getting real heavy, now my form's getting ugly, so now I'm gonna do partials. Now I'm gonna do another 10. And I'm only gonna do them to here. The rear delt's still working, they're gonna be on fire. One of the things I've done on these um, over the years is I also believe in doing higher reps on these. So give these a shot. Give me, I would say 10 to 15 reps full range of motion, and then give me another 10 partial. So you're looking at 20 to 25 reps a set. Do three or four sets, if you do four sets of that, your rear delts are gonna feel like they're gonna explode.